Just check this wall out. Wow. I mean, there's little uh, moisture falling. I'm looking at it in the streaks of the sun right now, which has created this great rainbow behind us over here. Where are we? So the roads were wet, and we took uh, off the 67 Cape Royal. I, I mean, that road <laughs> all the way, both fingers are just incredible. Right. And you could smell the moisture. It had rained in there. It was beautiful. A very beautiful, uh, thick wooded forest. I mean, it was great. And flowers everywhere. It was, it was spectacular. I want to bring our, our Sturgis dudes on this road. Yeah, they'd love it. So we're sitting on top of this angel's window. And uh, we took a picture over there. Look at the mist coming through here and the rain falling. Out, way out in the distance, we finally can see the Colorado River. The mighty Colorado. Pretty I, darn cool. I see a rapid down there. And I flowed that river three times in my life, and it was amazing. Yeah, I've, uh, I have a lot of fond memories on the Colorado. So, hey, we still need to go to get, get ourselves over to Point Royal. So, let's see do them it. over there? Yeah, let's go. Bye. Yeah. Look at that. You know, the, the sunlight's already starting to cast shadows down here for the sunset that's coming. Look at the deep colors back in there as well. You never uh, really appreciate things until you go see them. I mean, a, f a photo, a video doesn't really do it justice until you come out here and see the grandeur. How long this has been out here and the evolution that's taken place to create this structure and the colors. And Well, it's amazing that the when you're standing on the rim here, there's so much in front of you before you actually get to the river compared to the south side where it's more of a sheer boom down it's well, amazing. I mean, this this side's higher, so it gets twice the amount of snowfall and weather, and therefore it erodes faster than that side. And but, I mean, we can say we've seen them all, right? right? Like right. I mean, and and none of them disappoint. No, and it gets an average of twelve feet of snow on the yeah. this side, and five feet of snow on the south side. That's why they close it down. You can't get up here in the winter. Yeah, you know, and uh, but this to me, uh, Josh was saying earlier, like. He feels like this is how a national park should be. Right. Where it's not overrun with people and crowds. And you right. can actually, like we're walking down the path and you can hear the wind blowing and you can smell the, the smells that you get from the pines and the, and the rain. And well, yeah, you know, it's, that been a, it's been a great day. The West Rim has got a lot of traffic and a lot of people. Uh, the South has a lot of traffic and a lot of people. This is kind of like you're out there. One thing I was noticing, too, is look how green everything is down there. And I feel more rain falling on us, even though it's, it's like a mist. But Well, they've had a lot of rain, plus this side gets more rain. But even speaking about the west, I mean, that has that little walkway you can go out on. Right, right. Um, but it's like a guided tour. Yeah, it doesn't feel like, yeah. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's, you don't feel like you're out right. in this. Yeah. Um, this is uh, this is amazing the feel that you get here. I love the wind and I love the sound of it. This is awesome. Yeah, check yeah. that out. Here comes the storm, baby. Yeah, yeah. So we had a great day. We started off at the, the inn. Uh, we went out. We did some uh, Vermilion Cliffs. Yeah. Uh, we happened to be over by the Kaibab Lodge and a couple guys roll up from uh, uh, guys that we met yesterday and, and a couple folks there. Bare Knuckles Garage. Yeah. And we roll into the park and we're about to roll out at sunset. Yeah, this is amazing. We are having fun and we always have fun. That's why we run down. the two lanes. So shall we uh, get back to the lodge and get some grub? Let's do it. See you down the road.